Hey, what's going on, guys? Okay, so I wanted to take a moment and show you guys this new little sleep system that I got. This is the uh, GI Modular Sleep System. And I picked this up because, quite frankly, I wanted something that no matter what the temperature got here outside, here comes the little lady to help me. Come on over here, baby. But anyway, no matter what the temperature got outside, I wanted to be able to take this little lady, put her inside something, and know that when I pull her out, she's gonna be warm. So with this thing all together, it actually uh, is rated for about, some, some people say negative 20, some people say all the way down to negative 40. Um, but either way, here in Kansas, I think the last time it got to negative 40 was back in 1933, so it's not that, uh, not like it gets that cold all the time. It usually reaches about zero areas like that. So let's take a closer look at this thing. All right, guys, so as you can see, this is a compression bag. So after you stuff it in there, you can compress it down to make it a little bit smaller for your pack and everything else. Now these things do weigh quite a bit. I think this thing weighs about nine to 10 pounds. So it's not that light, but really in the grand scheme of things, neither are your wool blankets and things like that. They're actually quite heavy as well. So I really don't think it's that bad, that, that bad considering the temperatures that these things allow for. All right, so my daughter is, um, Definitely wanting to open this thing up, so let's open it up, pull it out, and take a look. You're putting me in your sleeping bag? If I have to, yeah. You got one coming too. Why? Because. I want a princess one. You want a princess one? Well, we have princess ones coming also. How about that? We have princess ones coming also. Okay, so here's the front. Front flap opens up and along the side here is actually where the Gore-Tex bivy unsnaps and unzips and then also the place for your light bag and your medium bag. So it's what I thought we would do today is there's a lot of videos explaining what these things are and the individual bags and everything else, but not a whole lot of videos with them actually in use. So we're going to do something fun today. I'm going to take these two pieces out because it's still a little too warm for me to be crawling around inside of one of these. But uh, we are going to pull this out and then I'm going to let my daughter take the hose to me while I'm in this Gore-Tex and we're going to see if I can keep dry. Alright, now before I want to climb into this thing, I'm going to take my boots off. Ah. Why are you taking your boots off? I don't want to put them inside the bag. Throw them out of the way here. And get inside of it. Get it all zipped up and buttoned up. Mommy. Mommy. You can spray daddy. I'm going to get you, Dad. Don't look at 
Yeah, but you can't. You're gonna cheat. I just know it, aren't you? You're gonna. Yeah, I know you. All right, I'm not going to draw this drawstring up and everything else. I'm just gonna put it over my head, let her soak me down, and we'll see what happens. and dry on the inside no leaks or anything else so good stuff okay now before I put this thing back together I want to point out one more thing if you guys decide that you want to purchase one of these for yourselves especially if you order one used or anything like that you want to make sure of a couple things on the inside of your Gore-Tex bivy you'll actually see where the seams are covered and it will say Gore-Tex Seam on it. It's one thing you want to make sure of. You also want to make sure that each one of your tags has that company's name right there on it. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm not going to try. And then on each one of your individual bags, you'll have a tag on it also. Again, with the company's name on it. So those are a few things to make sure that you check, especially if you buy one of these used. Make sure that you get the real thing. All right, now one more thing before I pack it up, call it quits, as I promised somebody that I would crawl inside of it and show them how big it is and how much room there is. Now, I'm about 5'11", 190 pounds, so I'm not an extremely large guy, but I'm not a small guy neither. So let me crawl in here and you can see how much room there is in one of these things. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to zip it up because you can get an idea of how big it is just like this. Roughly it's about the same size as any other sleeping bag and there's plenty of room for me to put the hood and the flap over my head. Now, you are definitely not going to fit two people in here. Maybe a uh, medium-sized adult like myself and a small child like my kid, maybe. Uh, but definitely not two adults. Nor are you going to get a plus-size individual to fit in one of these bags either. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this short video on the GI sleep system. When it gets cold, I'll probably end up doing another one. Let my kid turn the hose on to me again. 
whenever it's really cold. But until then, like always, have a good one, guys.